hey guys welcome back to my channel and in this video today i'm going to be introducing to you and i'll be showing you everything about the best ai keyboard that you've ever heard about you know this keyboard has really been blowing the minds of so many people on the internet right now because this is not just the regular keyboard that you know this is an ai embedded keyboard and guys it's no other keyboard than the microsoft um swift key keyboard and guys in this video today i want to show you how you can navigate through this ai keyboard how you can do so many things with this ai keyboard because first it's not all about having a keyboard it's not all about downloading an application but you need to understand how to use every feature on that application to give you the desired result that you want so if this is something you want to do don't forget to watch this video to the end and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so without further ado let's get started so right here i'm going to be opening my um my just a chat right here on whatsapp and here on whatsapp i'm going to be showing you the keyboard so before that i'm gonna show you how you can download this keyboard all you just need to do is you have to go to your play store right here microsoft swift keyboard all right so you're going to search for microsoft swift keyboard so the one you're exactly going to download is this one right here this one that has microsoft key ai keyboard all right that is what you're going to download because there are actually two but you're not going to download this one what you're going to download is this one right here okay you're going to download this particular one right here so once you've downloaded it then you go ahead to open it up all right and once you open it up it has a few registrations you're going to register into it all right and once you have done registering then you can start using it all right and registering has you to you know you have to have to give access to it on your on your mobile you also have to you know um click that you are selecting it as your default all right and all of that so once you've done that then you can now start using it all right so um i'm gonna show you how this keyboard really works all right so um probably if you want to watch my video on how you can set up this so that you don't have any errors you don't have any issues i'm going to be leaving a link to my video on how you can get to register on this um ai because you need to register with your email address and all of that so i'm going to show you how you can do that so that you will not have issues of not being able to you know use this keyboard and in few seconds of registrations you can start using it so now let's start with the first feature right here i'm going to start from this end here this three dots and here in this three dots you can see you can get emojis from one right there you can see that there are so so many emojis right here okay there are so so many emojis you can find here and you can also find things like auto correct because sometimes we um type things and we don't know what whether we are right or wrong this all correct if it's on it's going to help us to literally correct our text all right and this is mood all right this mood also helps us to you know give us some different settings for our keyboard um screen okay so also so we can go ahead to set the layout the income so, so you can see all of these the teams the all of that and all of that so now what i'm going to show you right now is the first the to-do list you can set to-do lists with this application all right for instance if you want it to remind you to call someone remind me to call to call jack okay to call jack if you can come here to set the due date all right do you want it to be done today you can select the day you can also select um all of the things you want it to so today you can select the time so you can also come here to set the exact time probably you are not okay with this time you can come here to walk around this whole time in here okay and then you can set all the time so this is really an, a very good way to set your reminders and once because most of the times we use our our phones so once the time reach automatically your keyboard is going to tell you hey guy you need to call jack right now and it's going to help you to remember so it's a very very encompassing tool that helps you to um even plan your whole day okay so now the next two we're gonna check out here is this all right this is just an info area nothing much here so this is more like an information area so now the next thing here you can do here is this this is more like using uh 
a voice to like a, just like a voice to text okay you can try that out and now this is also an a very important tool that is embedded in this point here and this is the translator guys so guys let me tell you something most of the times you have friends who are not english speakers or people who, are, who, who don't speak your native languages don't worry about it. you can chat with anyone all over the world once you have this keyboard and you don't have to waste your time downloading a google translator or something like that this has everything right here once you click on this point you can select the language you want it to translate to for instance here i'm going to translate to um, arabic or english all right so you for instance um you can also come here to change the toggle for example if you want to translate from arabic to english you can type your arabic words here and you can translate to your english here okay so now or if you want to translate to english you click the toggle right here from english to arabic all right so once you're done with that for instance let's try something now i'm gonna say good morning right here in arabic and you're gonna see it's going to give me the arabic translation for good morning So currently, as you can see right here, this is the Arabic translation for good morning. And you can send that to your friend. So you literally don't have to stress yourself moving from one app to the other. This has everything in place. All right. Or well, probably if you receive a reply from your friend and you also don't understand the language, you, you can come here. You, all you just need to do is you come here to switch over and then you paste your Arabic test here. All right. From the reply from your friend. You paste it right here make sure you copy and then you paste it here and just as you can see it has given you the um translation here right here and you can send it so this is exactly how you can use this translator right here okay another thing you can also do with this is you can check out your clipboards most of the time we copy so many things right and everything will all be saved here you can manage it right here everything all of your clipboards and all and now this is gifs gifs are really important right for us and you can come here to search for gifs you can check out for happy sad laughing gifs and all of that okay so now this is where it gets more interesting because now you're going to be dealing with the real ai right here so now once you click on this part you can see this area here so now one interesting thing about this keyboard is that if you want to maybe send information to someone or you want to quickly get information you don't need to go to your chrome browser anymore you don't need to go to browsers you don't need to do all of those things you can literally just search for information right here and see them for example let me search for something um lighthouse okay lighthouse let me just search for something random right lighthouse church okay L lighthouse church okay once you search it automatically you are going to be surfing the web you can see right here that i'm currently searching the web and these are informations about lighthouse church all right all right lighthouse church these are different articles on life um lighthouse church you can click on them in that one that you want or you can go ahead here to share with your friend the link if that is what you want or you can go here to you know access the web from here all right so now you can also if you're looking for just images you can come here and click on this area and you are going to be giving the images and of all of this okay so now I wish the most interesting part of this is that you can go ahead to click on the image all right, all right? and once you click on the image you literally can send the image to your friends all right without you having to you know download the image directly from the web you'd send it directly to your friends so you see how interesting this is and of course you can go ahead to remove all of these um all of the links and all and then you send to your friend so you can see how interesting this is getting right so now i'm going to be showing you the next ai tool and the next ai tool i'm going to be showing you right here is the tone tool and right here in the tone tool this helps you rewrite and tone your text for example you might be trying to send a message to someone but you're not sure of how you want this message to go to the person probably you want it to be in a professional way you want it to be in a funny way and all of that this will help you tone it so let me try and create a very short message and i will show you how it works so as you can see right here i just typed a message i said hey 
I, for example, if I'm sending a message to a friend, I said, hey, I don't like what you did yesterday. It really pissed me off. Please don't do that again. Then I'm going to send it into this area here. And just as you can see, it's currently working on this text to give me a, a tune for it. And as you can see right here, it just helps me rephrase this in a professional way. And this is what it sounds professionally. I would like to discuss something that happened yesterday. It was not something I appreciated and it made me upset. Please refrain from doing it again. So just the message I just wrote here, professionally, this is what it is. And you can go ahead to copy it if you want. So you can also come here to change it to casual. You can also come here to change it to funny. Now look at what it says in a funny way. Hey, I don't like what you did yesterday. It really pissed me off. If you do it again, I will have to send you to your, mo your room without dinner. So you see how creative and funny that is. So you can see, hey, not, not cool. Don't do that again. So social media, you can see with tea. You can also see polite, all right? So for example, if you want to send a message to someone and, you don't, and you're angry, and you want to like make sure you're being polite you can say hey excuse me you can say excuse me i would like to talk about something that happened yesterday it really upset me and i would appreciate if you didn't do it again so you see how this message i just wrote here here how it became even more professional and even more sense making if i should use that word okay so now the next thing i'm going to show you the next ai tool is the compose tool and so as you can see right here in the compose tool you can compose you know emails you can compose blogs text and so many things using this this is just more like an advanced form of chat gpt all right so now you can come here and just type what you want me to write about so i want so you see right here i just told i want you to write an essay on love over lost okay you can then come here to either choose if you want it to be a professional written essay with or a casual enthusiastic informational or funny essay and then you can also come here to choose the format you want it to be do you want it to be in an email a blog format or in an idea kind of way do you want it to be short medium or long and all of that so once you're done with all of this you can go ahead to generate a draft for it and as you can see right here, it's generating a whole lot of text for me. Love and loss are two powerful emotions that can influence our relationship and our lives and all of that. So you see, it's writing the whole context for me. So, but however, I'm not going to wait for it to finish writing because I'm just doing a tutorial. So you can try this on your mobile device and see how it works perfectly. So we are going to the chat option. And the chat option is exactly like chat gpt okay because now you want informations you want stuff you want to like get stuff informations and things you want to chat with some ai too and you don't know how to go about it this will help you okay you don't have to even open up a chat gpt application or go to any browser you can get everything all in this keyboard The weather forecast of my area where i told it i wanted it to send me the weather, weather forecast and all of that so you can see that it's still giving me more information that the weather forecast for any good state it's partly cloudy with a high degree of all of this so you can use this to get your weather information and all of that so there are so many things you can do with this and of course as you can see this gives you even clear pictures of so many things if you want it in the picture format so this is a better choice if i might say if i should say it's a better choice so if you really enjoyed this video guys don't forget to smash the like button don't also forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video if it was also helpful don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up okay and also share with your friends thanks for watching and I want to say bye for now.